Hi YouTube and welcome to another video from Rich Co Photo. As you can see we're just exiting the ferry now onto the Isle of Wight. Now I know nothing about, well I know something but I don't know lots about the Isle of Wight. I know it's about 23 miles by 13, something like that. Um, so I'll try and tell you a little bit but most of the time I'm just going to sit back and let you guys enjoy the drive through from ride so we are just getting off the boat and heading in nice little pub there on the left a few people hanging around there waiting for their ferry to come in as you can see some of the older houses there on the left hand side now I will speed this up from time to time um, I can imagine in the summer that this place here is horrendous when the boats are in and out and especially when there's festivals on, the Isle of Wight Festival and other festivals that go on throughout the year. There's a big weight trays so that looks all brand new to me. And a few shops down the right hand side. So we're all doing is heading out of ride uphill and into the depths of the Isle of Wight. of the houses there on the right hand side there's quite a few car sales on the island that I saw over the few days we were there what I did notice a lot of the time is the roads are quite bumpy and they're all narrow 90% of them are narrow anyway So what I do is I just let you enjoy the rise. You can have a view around the Isle of Wight, just see what it's like. Um, especially for my US subscribers that I have, they're always really interested in, in me driving around. Maybe if you're in the UK, you're not so much, but if you are visiting the island, that'll give you a chance to see what it's like just coming off the boat so you have an idea of what to expect when you land or dock in the Isle of Wight if you catch the red funnel ferry from Southampton that is rather than the, the white link ferry from Portsmouth which takes you to a different place so enjoy the video feel free to pause it wherever you want to to see what's going on and I'll just leave you with a little bit of music enjoy one of the narrower roads that we travel down. It looks a lot narrower than it actually is through that part and what we've decided to do is to cool off and stop at the Owl and Monkey Haven. Uh, it's where they have rescued monkeys and things from 
people all over the world um, and in one of my later videos you'll see some of the antics that the monkeys get up to um, that I filmed a little bit as we were having a walk round and it seems like a, a really well worth a visit if you're ever on the island it's very clean and tidy the cafe's very nice you can get a nice cup of coffee there um, there's not a huge amount of food you can get toasties and and sausage rolls and things like that but you can stop there and have a nice cold drink and a nice coffee so we turn right at this roundabout and head down towards the owl and monkey haven now you won't spend all day there I just imagine it's only a half day visit but if you go to the island just drop in and have a look and like I say some of my videos coming up will cover the monkey haven so have a have a watch of those videos as well and see what you think and maybe you would add it on your list for a visit so just coming into the village now and see some of the houses on the right hand side up here in a minute there go. there's a garden centre there It does look like I'm driving fairly fast, but I'm not. And here we go, turning in. So if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to give the thumbs up. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave those as well. You have a great day.